what is up guys and welcome back so for today we have yet another mortal kombat 11 leak video and for today's video we have the newest leak for a combat pack 3 but anyways before we get into any of that like always be sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already so with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys i don't know what's happening but leaks come out multiple times a day now i don't know why guys i don't know if people are just bored at home but they're coming out left and right and obviously i am a news and leaks covering channel for mk11 so i gotta cover it but anyways for today's video we have a leak that is um strictly focused on combat pack 3 like it doesn't even mention much other things just mainly combat pack 3 and this one i actually do see kind of believable compared to other ones but obviously like I always take it all with a grain of salt as this could all just be bs but anyways go ahead and check that out now as you can see um this leak says five characters now the reason why i said that this is more believable than others is because we have five character slots left to complete the character select screen as a full rectangle so all the leaks out there that mention like eight characters or 10 characters or 12 characters i just can't see that happening because like where are they even going to go in the character select screen right but this one only mentions five which would fit the screen perfectly but anyways let's go ahead and read the leak and then we'll discuss it so the leak starts by saying five characters smoke havoc serena takeda and deathstroke four stages Pyramid of Argus, Chaos Realm, Saito, and Subway. Three stage fatalities. The Black Dragon Fight Club, Colosseum Beast Pen, and Karan's Ship. One new finishing move, Harakiri. And three skin packs, Mortal Kombat 2021 Movie Pack, Combat Kids Classic Skin Pack from MKX, and the UMK3 Classic Ninja Skin Pack. And that's it. Just that. It's It didn't even say anything like, hey guys, I'm from NRS. No, it just literally gave out information like that. Don't know how real or fake this is i could see this happening even the 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 characters in the combat pack are all perfectly fit we have four mk characters one is a female and one is a guest which definitely is probably what they would do uh four new stages i could definitely see that happening a new finishing move especially harakiri that would be sick a few more stage fatalities that's something that people have been asking for for a while and even the skin packs definitely make a lot of sense, especially the movie, uh, the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie pack. Since we are getting the movie in April, it would be a really good way to promote the movie. Now what sucks is that we didn't get any type of release date, reveal date, nothing. But my best guess is that this will probably, like even if this isn't real, whatever next DLC we will get will more than likely be revealed in March. That is like a safe, I, I think that's a safe bet. I, I've been saying that a lot of people have been saying that a lot of leaks have been saying March so definitely keep your eye out for March because that definitely seems like a month where something I don't know what will come or will happen with MK11 hopefully we just get one more combat pack I don't know but anyway guys that is it for the video let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below do you think this is real do you think this is BS how do you feel about the characters in it? Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, like in all honesty, I, I kind of hope this is real. Th this one seems pretty solid. We're getting Havoc, Smoke. Uh, I would have loved to get, obviously, Ermac, who is like my most demanded character. But whatever, I, I could live with these. These are pretty solid choices as well. And what is weird is that Sector and Cyrex aren't there. And it just, it's so weird not getting them because Ed, I'm pretty sure Ed Boon said in an interview that they were no longer gonna make um, NPCs with fully playable movesets, right? NPCs means non-playable characters. So we got Sector and Cyrex in the story mode as fully playable characters with complete movesets and everything. So how is it possible that we don't get them? I don't know, guys. I, I don't want to jump the gun and say this BS just because of that. But it's, it's so weird not getting Sector and Cyrex. Like, I, I can't really see that happening. Whatever. Anyway, guys, like I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. Uh, there will be no comments of the day today. I didn't have enough time to actually go through all the comments and pick three good ones. So sorry about that. But in the next video, I got you guys. But anyways, like I said, stay subscribed. Be sure to like if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and peace.